Recently, residents of Brampton, England, reported over 10 cases in which their car tires had been punctured. Well, finally this week, after six months and countless hours of police work, closed circuit cameras caught the vandal red pod. So who was the culprit? Just the border collie. It turns out that one cop, Simon Amos, presumably playing by his own rules, studied the tape and realized that Jess was the canine criminal. Officer Amos explains how he collared the collie. The dog had been seen approaching the cars, and many believed that she was just sniffing at the tires. It is not until you take a closer look that you can see her biting them. While most vandals are in it for the sick thrill, for Jess the collie, this was about revenge. Eighteen months ago, Jess was actually hit by a car. So, in a fit of criminal rage, she decided to take out her frustrations on other innocent cars. Jess's accomplice, I mean, owner, who has remained nameless, would walk Jess off the leash and clearly wasn't paying attention as she went on her crime spree, which seems a little oblivious. Would he have noticed if she started putting sugar in the gas tanks? Jess's owner was surprised about the news and offered to pay for any damages his criminal collie has caused, while Jess has been sentenced to life on a leash without the possibility of paw roll. While Jess the tire slashing border collie's reign of terror appears to be over, she has joined the ranks of some of our favorite criminal animals, such as Dusty, the kleptomaniac actual cat burglar, who over the course of three years stole 600 items from around his neighborhood, and our favorite criminal, Canelos, the Greek riot dog, who appeared at every riot in the country and became a folk hero. Canelos was so quick to scream, but the police, that there are songs written about him. So remember, if you think an animal committed a crime, Jess, Dusty, and Canellos are probably the suspects. Mm -hmm.